Cheers, Nico. We're up at Port Hedland today. Big thanks to BHP for flying us up here. We're at South Hedland High School. We've brought some of our GPS units up here today to show the kids and get them to wear at training. So let's cut to some of the action. So we're going to get his running around and, and doing a few drills. So uh, running around the goalpost up there. Okay, so we've just put the GPS's on the guys and immediately we're getting this sig signal back here from the GPS. So whoever's wearing these units, we can tell then immediately who's been running the fastest for the session or who's been running the slowest for the session. If a player is having a good game, um, it'll come up as his GPS data is really good where he's running and, and feeling good as well. So um, I know my first few years of footy, I used it to improve my intensity of running. Obviously, the aim of the program is to sort of develop and engage um, kids in school and try, try and retain them in terms of their attendance and behaviour and things like that. What we try and do is give the guys a, an overall perspective on AFL football, not from just a playing point of view, so obviously the administrative side of things and, and all the other um, things that come with an AFL career and, and, and an AFL football. They got to see a bit of how the GPS units worked, how the players wear the units, how they fit on the with the harnesses and that. Uh, yeah, I think they really enjoyed it. The GPS's just like learn to run faster, like try to pick up my game more, like and it'll make me a better player in the future. And yeah, a lot, lots more. Having Mark Lacroix here was obviously a big bonus. Um, so yeah, they, they take a lot out of that, and they'll be talking about that over the next few days and probably the next few weeks. Oh, he taught me heaps. Like we don't normally get people up here from like West Coast like he does, like one of the top top players. And no, it's good to have him up here teaching us a few things. Yeah, it was good because like we got a um, game this weekend, so yeah, it was good to get a few tips from Lacroix. The last two are all about keeping my head over the footy, making sure my ball drops good, and following through to the goals. Who was wearing Jeremy McGovern's unit? <laughs> good, Jeremy will be proud. <laughs> well, I think the, the surprise package of the day was the high speed in the first session that we did. We had the boy wearing Jeremy McGovern's unit had the highest speed. And I think Gov would uh, be proud to have a highest speed at the training session himself. <laughs> I guess that's a bit of a bonus of the program. Obviously we're looking at developing all of the students and engaging them in high school and, and that sort of thing in their learning development. But uh, as I said, a bonus of the program is there's, there's quite a bit of talent up here that is, I guess, a bit of an untapped resource um, and probably don't have the opportunities that there are down south at the moment. Um, so we're looking at obviously developing those opportunities, giving them some pathways and things like that um, to hopefully play in the waffle competition with Swan Districts maybe to start with and then who knows from then on in. Thanks guys, really hope you've enjoyed some of the action. I'm sure the guys up here have enjoyed the BHP Kicking Goals program. We'll see you next time.